What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jay Yudlowski. Here we are in 2019. I'm looking forward to making a lot more content for everybody and sharing my knowledge in photography, Photoshop, Lightroom, and even a little bit of video and video editing. So in this video, I want to get started on a series I want to do about Lightroom. So let's get into it. So here we are in 2019 and I want to get started on a series about Lightroom. I think Lightroom's a great program, but it can be a little intimidating if you're just getting going in it. So this kind of series that I'm putting together is gonna be for people who are new to Lightroom or just getting started in it. I'm gonna go through all the basics, explain the different parts, the different features, how to set things up, how to process your images, how to catalog them, organize them, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, consider checking out the rest of this series as I post the videos and consider subscribing to my channel. So who is Lightroom for? Lightroom's for anybody who's got photos. You need some place to organize your photos and instead of just using regular folders in Finder on a Mac or uh, in Windows Explorer and Windows, you use Lightroom to organize and catalog all your images. Okay, now why might you want to use Lightroom instead of just sticking your photos on a hard drive? Well, Lightroom gives you the ability to look for all your photos in one spot. You can also catalog them, sort them, organize them, and you can process, edit, and develop your photos in a huge variety of ways. So that's the big advantage of using Lightroom is you can catalog them, you have them all in one place, and you can edit them. So one of the great things about Lightroom is as you catalog and as you edit your photos, it's all non-destructive. So nothing happens to your original photos. They're always there. They always have the original file without it being destroyed or changed. And uh, Lightroom actually uses the catalog itself to show and apply edits to your photos. Now, is there any downsides to using Lightroom? Sure, one of them is you actually have to pay for it if you want to use Adobe Lightroom CC, which is what I'm going to cover throughout this uh, series that I want to do here. So Lightroom CC through Adobe's website is $9.99 a month. You get Lightroom and Photoshop. It's the Lightroom Photoshop photography plan. I think it's a great deal. I've been using it for years, just over 10 bucks once they add in the taxes and all that. So it's totally worth that if you're looking for a great way to manage and process and develop all your images. So I would totally recommend using Lightroom. So if you're new to Lightroom, you're new to photography, you're looking for a better way to organize your photos, process your photos, edit your photos, this is gonna be a series you wanna check out. So consider subscribing to my channel if that's something that you're interested in and uh, be sure to check back for my videos gonna try and post weekly here and uh, just give you as much information as I can about Adobe Lightroom. So looking forward to this series and I hope it's gonna help somebody out there uh, just as others have helped me out along the way. If you like this video and you're looking forward to this series, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Man, seriously, can you hear that? You hear those horns? I'm trying to make a little video outside. It's so nice in January. I gotta be out here making the video. Someone's got their horns blasting. Turn off the horns. Sheesh. Oh, hey, there we go. Sweet.